start again. Today's topic is pancreatitis, mainly acute pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is the inflammation of pancreas. Uh, acute chronic or lapsing, which may lead into complications. It's a very important topic. You have seen many patients of acute pancreatitis. So young patients come with mainly alcoholic patient. Uh, it's a very devastating condition in the common and mortality is very high in acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis may be edematous, maybe uh, we can say inflammatory, or it, is, it may be uh, uh, form of an abscess or other form. Classification of acute pancreatitis, or cis classification, acute pancreatitis, acute relapsing pancreatitis, chronic relapsing pancreatitis, chronic pancreatitis. Acute means acute inflammatory changes which are reversible. Chronic means chronic conditions, uh, con chronic continuous inflammatory changes which are morphologically irreversible. So, acute uh, pancreatitis is a reversible condition. Chronic uh, pancreatitis is a continuous uh, inflammatory changes which are irreversible. Uh, now come on the etiology of pancreatitis. Major causes, biliary tract disease 50%, stones, major cause, second to uh, biliary tract disease, alcoholism, third is other causes are trauma, uh, after biliary gastric splenic surgery, ERCP is the one of the important cause of acute pancreatitis or to be after doing endoscopic retrograde cholangiography retrograde patient may have a acute pancreatitis. Hyperparathyroidism is one of the important cause of acute pancreatitis. Hypercalcemia is one of the important cause of acute pancreatitis. Acute and chronic both. Hyperlipidemia is one of the important cause of pancreatitis. Diabetes mellitus, porphyria, drugs like INH, steroids, diuretic, digit diuretic, azathioprine, 5 amino salicylic acid, estrogen, tetracycline, valproic acid, and betamidine, 5%. These are all drugs which cause. Pancreatitis, viral infection like mumps or popsicky is the viral infection which can, which can cause acute pancreatitis. There are many autoimmune diseases which also can cause pancreatitis. Vascular disease may cause pancreatitis and in some patients cause is not known. It is idiopathic. Now come on the acute pancreatitis is the acute pancre is the acute inflammation of prior normal gland parenchyma, which is usually reversible, but acute, acute acute attack can occur in a pre-existing chronic pancreatitis with raised pancreatic enzyme level in blood. Basically, increased pancreatic level in the blood is responsible for the uh, complications of pancreatitis. So, it is basically enzyme which release in the blood. So, pancreatic enzyme level in the blood and urine it may be first attack of relapsing attack, first attack or relapsing attack with an apparently normal gland in between. Biliary tract disease is the commonest cause of acute pancreatitis. Early phase lasts for two weeks with edematous pancreatitis or sterile necrosis, which may carry less mortality, death, here occur by multi organ failure. So, patient uh, may have a acute inflammatory pancreatitis, patient may have a sterile necrosis, or patient may have 
infective pancreatitis. So, inflammatory condition, uh, if inflammatory pancreatitis is a less mortality uh, and uh, pancreatic abscess can cause high mortality. In late phase, phase after two to three week pancreatic abscess or infective pain necrosis can occur. Pancreatic abscess has got it has got forty percent mortality, which needs drainage. Infective necrosis usually develops after three weeks, and there is hundred percent mortality without drainage. Necrostomy, pathogenesis. Present constant is, uh, is the biliary stone. Indeed, pancreatic ductal obstruction and ductal hypo. Tension is a etiological factor. Parenchymal duct obstruction occurs due to biliary stone, duodenal ulcer, periambulary, diverticulum, tumor, trauma, pancreatic duct structure, escaries, clostrum, sinus. These are all causes pancreatic duct obstruction. Or alcohol causes direct toxicity, hypersecretion of gastric and pancreatic juice, plugging of pancreatic proteins. Injury by release of free radicals like super superoxide and hydroxyl spasm of uh, OT and stimulate trypsinogen. All these etiological factors either cause spasm of sphincter of OT and lead to into the parenchyma. Common channel theory are cause increased secretion of pancreatic enzyme. Which trypsinogen gets activated from trypsin, activated activates other enzymes. Pro elastase up to elastase convert pro elastase elastase to elastase. It leads to causing capillary rupture. Capillary rupture. Pro lipase convert pro lipase to lipase. Metabolism metabolize triglyceride to glycerol, fatty acid and fatty acid. Combine calcium forming saponized fat. Secreted, sequestered fluid, saponified fat, blood are together form chicken fat, which cause lecithin, amylase, and factor like lysolecithin, prostaglandin, bradykinin, calcarin. Myocardial depression factor, free radical cytokinase, uh, tumor necrosis factor, and platelet activation factor also leads to a local and systemic effect. Infection occurs causing bacteremia and septicemia. Large volume of fluid secretion occurs causing hypovolemic shock. Toxin release may lead to acute tubular necrosis and so acute renal. Failure may occur. Left sided diaphragm elevated and left side pleural effusion may occur due to irritation of pleura. Lecithin radicals are surfactant in alveoli of lung and infection lead to pulmonary insufficiency may occur, may cause ARDSS and respiratory failure. Because of calcium is utilized or saponification, hypocalcemia sets in diffuse oozing in pancreatic bag occurs, which Utilize platelet and cause disseminated intravascular coagulation. In severe case, extensive necrosis with hemorrhage occurs, causing acute hemorrhagic necrotizing pancreatitis, or we can say fulminating pancreatitis, which has got high mortality. Acute inflammatory pancreatitis is has low mortality. Acute hemorrhagic necrotizing pancreatitis has got high mortality. And acute uh, abscess or we can infective pancreatitis has uh, uh, got 100% mortality if it is not drained. So, here enzyme shifts across retroperitoneum causing hemorrhage, spot, great urinary sign, or through falciform ligament causing discoloration around the umbilical, uh, umbilical umbilicus. Black eye are below the inguinal ligament. It is called Fox sign. SIRS, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, and later MODS 
means multiple organ dysfunction at say these are all clinical uh, sorry pathology pathophysiology pathology of the acute pancreatitis sequelae of events acute edematous pancreatitis causes severe acute pancreatitis acute style necrosis acute infective necrosis local systemic complications with high mortality pseudocyst or abscess formation ARDS, MODS or hemorrhage, resolution, apnea occur, recovery, complications, uh, rare in uh, resolution, and less mortality. Morian described acute pancreatitis as the terrible of all calamities that occurs in connection with abdominal viscera. Atlantia classification is the acute edematous pancreatitis 80% milder form of mortality less than 1% it is milder form of form it has 80% and this mortality is very less it is 1% acute and necrotizing pancreatitis is 20% characterized by pancreatic and pancreatic necrosis in this mortality is 15 to 30%. One of them is the acute infective pancreatitis. Mortality is 100% if it is not trained. Next is the interstitial acute pancreatitis with mortality less than 1%. Necrotizing pancreatitis, style necrosis with mortality 10%. Infected necrosis with mortality 30 to 40%. It is Confirmed by CT guided aspiration in gram stand when confirmed needs pancreatic necrostomy. Organism involved infection is commonly polymicrobial BL infection, 60%. It may be formed from the gallbladder, it may from colon or it may from, from bowel via transmucosal migration by hematogenous spread. Infection rate is uh, one week is 24% and three weeks 70%. E. coli 35%, Clepsila 25%, Intropoconus 25%, other Streptococcus, Pseudomonas, Proteus, Introvector, Anorubic, Candida 10%. Clinical features of acute pancreatitis is the sudden onset abdominal pain, which is referred to back on the left side. Pain is severe. Uh, Agonizing and refractory pain may be relieved or reduced by leaning forward. This is called Mohammedan prayer uh, position. Vomiting, high grade fever, tachycardia with cyanosis, tenderness, rebound tenderness, gardening and rigidity, and abdominal distension due to fluid collection and severe illness. Often mild jandis, features of shock and dehydration can be present. Patient may have oligoidea, hypoxia, and acidosis. Great Erna signs, Allen signs, Fox signs, hematosis and menilna due to duodenal necrosis, gastric erosion and decreased coagulability are due to DIC. Thick cuff when present, it is a refractory. Ascites may be present, paralytic edema. Consideration features of rapid onset ARD is often observed. Neurologic derangement due to toxemia, fat embolism, hypoxia, respiratory distress can occur. It may, uh, may be mild psychosis or occasionally psychosis. Occasionally, hematogenesis or manila can occur. Clinical features or classifications based on clinical features, it may be mild. CVR or fulminating attack. Differential diagnosis of acute appendicitis is the perforated duodenal ulcer, mesenteric ischemia structure and aortic aneurysm, ectopic pregnancy, sulfangitis, intestinal obstruction, and diabetic ketoacidosis. Investigations of the serum amylase is very high. More than 1000 somega e unit shows uh, raising rising filter, amylase, gradient cleaning threshold is rise, it is, uh, it is in urine, 
एमआईएलएस सीरम एमआईएलएस सीरम क्रेटिनिन यूरिनरी क्रेटिनिन नॉर्मल वैल्यू इज 1 टू 4 मोर देन 6% सिग्निफाई एक्यूट पेंक्रियाटाइटिस सीरम एमआईएलएस इज मोर स्पेसिफिक देन लाइपेस सीरम लाइपेस इज मोर स्पेसिफिक देन एमआईएलएस सीरम लेप्टोसिन्स triglyceride metabolism is most specific serum trypsin is accurate indicator but is it, it is not commonly used trypsinogen activity activation polypeptide assays in serum and urine level the severity of acute pancreatitis crp more than 150 mg per deciliter is also useful phospho lipase a2 ldh level are also often as assessed LFT, serum bilirubin, albumin, prothrombin time, alkaline phosphatase also very important. Blood glucose, serum care of uh, calcium level, hypoglycemia is very common. Arterial PO2 at PCO2 level, PCO2 level to assess pulmonary insufficiency or ARDS. Urinary lipase estimation is also very important. Total count, hematocrit, platelet count, coagulation profile is very important investigation. Peritoneal tape blood shows high myelase and protein levels. Lipel lipase level in aseptic blood is also very useful. Plain X-ray shows sentinel loop, ciliated proximal small bowel, distension of transverse colon with collapse of descending colon, colon cut of sign. Air fluid level in duodenum. Patient may have renal enos yellow sign. Obliteration of source shadow, localized ground glass appearance, ultrasonography of abdomen, the spiral CT is better gold and gold standard, CT guided aspiration, fluid should be sent for gram staining and capture, pectal catheter insertion should be done if pectal culture shows bacteria growth with CT showing necrosis, it means it is infected necrosis and need early pancreatic neurosectomy. CD guided and gram standing may need to be repeat. MRI, MRSCP is also useful. ERCP is usually not done in acute phase, chest X-ray, to uh, see effusion and RDS. Now come on the CT uh, scoring system. Balthazard CT scoring system, CT grade A normal pancreas, B edematous pancreatitis, 1 C, B plus mild extra pancreatic changes, 2 severe extra pancreatic changes with fluid collection, 4 necrosis score, none, 0, less than one third, 2 more than one third, less than one half is 1, more than half is 6. CT score, uh, scoring index, CT grade plus necrosis score 0 to 3, 4 to 6 and 7 to 10. Now come on the treatment. It's very important. Treatment, you must, everybody must know. Treatment is 70 to 90 percent is the conservative treatment. Conservative, we mainly do ABC, EDF, A. Airway, B breathing, C circulation, air fluid, antibiotic, and all that. Conservative 70 to 90 percent. Surgical treatment when indicated 10 to 30 percent management uh, of complications like acute pseudosis or abscess, fistula, hemorrhage, systemic complications like ARDS, kidney failure and multiple alcohol dysfunction. Conservative treatment is mainly dehydration. If there is a lot of fluid sequestered and third dispersed fluid loss, it is done by using uh, ringer lectus, normal saline, and dextrose line, plasma and fresh blood transfusion. Pain relieved by pethidine and other analgesic. In severe hemorrhage, episodic and platelet concentration can be treated, uh, retained. Anticipation of DAC and hemorrhage 
nasogastric aspiration and urinary catheterization to maintain and monitor urine output 50 ml per hour antibiotic third generation cefalosporin imipenem meropenem are used even codes role is not clear but it is commonly used to reduce the anticipated sepsis calcium gluconate 10 per ml 10% ultimately given as a patient will be hypoglycemia cp line is essential to monitor for rapid food therapy for tpn using carbohydrate amino acid vitamin essential elements iv ranitidine 50 mg 6 hourly i or iv omeprazole 40 mg or iv pentazoprazole 80 mg bd to prevent stress and the erosive bleeding proper electrolyte management with monitoring is needed it is always better to manage the patient in icu setup so that when need endo cranial intubation endotracheal intubation ventilatory support tracheostomy can be done as an emergency basis in case of renal fever liver hemodialysis is required can be done somatostatin somatostatin or aphrodite is often required to reduce pancreatic secretion anticholinergic protease inhibitor and calcitonin are uh, other agent used then then efficiency is not uh, their efficiency is not sure but can it is used now it is used steroid injection is in initial phase of shock is beneficial it is also useful in respiratory distress and ards nebulization and bronchotarsis are also tried during recovery period nasogastric feeding or jejunostomy feeding can be undertaken naso naso jejunal tube placement and feeding should be start as early as possible repeated calcium estimation ultrasound examination to see response as well is useful also useful dopamine or low molecule weight destron to improve renal perfusion soma prostatin or aphrodite to reduce pancreatic secretion is also often used other measure continuous monitoring observation maintaining good urine output at least 30 ml per hour is required mainly 50 to 60 ml per hour is the urine output required investigations are repeated to find out the response to treatment like serum calcium total count blood urea creatinine partial pressure of oxygen hematocrit ecg mainly conservative treatment t for pain relief pethidine or morphine protease inhibitors eprotamine asv ev e e a c a that is plasma a is antibiotic cefaprozone cefotaxime imipamin n nasogastric aspiration nasal o2 tpn c calcium gluconate 10 ml 10% percent hourly calcitonin cvp line re rehydration by iv fluid plasma blood arenidin iv 50 mg at hourly h apl 58 hourly respiratory support resuscitation when required e endotracheal intubation electrolyte management a anti acid s swan gas catheterization cvp and tpn somatostatin and its analog aphrodite use of aphrodite it is in acute pancreatitis basal bleeding endocrine pancreatic tumor j fistula pancreatic fistula dumping syndrome carcinoid tumor ectomegaly pancreatic surgery dose 50 mg as a leading loading dose iv 50 g my 50 microgram one hourly in 50% dexco as a maintenance dose surgical treatment indication for surgical intervention or if there is a formation of pancreatic abscess or infected necrosis when diagnosis is not uh, is not clear like in in this condition we do surgical intervention 
in severe necrotizing pancreatitis as a trial to save the life of patient which has got very high mortality surgical management of pancreatitis surgical surgery remove intra and extra pancreatic necrotic necrosis necrotic material pancreatic fluid and toxins it permits preservation of viable pancreatic tissue open surgery is the gold standard for infected pancreatic necrosis after opening the abdomen all necrotic tissue infected fluid toxins are removed 10 to 12 liter of normal saline wash is given drainage tube are placed liberally abdomen is closed in layer conventional close method necro necrostomy wide debridement adequate drainage cholecystectomy closer laparoscopy laparotomy is done only on demand later laparotomy necrostomy wide debridement wash wide packing is let open repeated wash and packing are done until healthy granulation tissue develop open method in laparoscopy laparotomy necrostomy and closer with intra drain laparotomy later semi open method gyp technique can be used to give report repeated wash to remove toxins and necrotizing tissue until healthy granulation tissue develop in pancreatic bed bradylysis repeat laparotomy and wash continuous close peritoneal lavage pancreatic bed and on pancreatic and laser sec is done with 10 to 20 liter normosan or hyper osmolar potassium free dialysis tube 2 liter per hourly using multiple tube to uh, remove toxins material in peritoneal cavity retroperitoneal area are until return tube become clear degas lavage procedure is after initial surgical debridement extra peritoneal lavage are also used but being a blind procedure is technically difficult and one may not be sure about adequate of the procedure under laparoscopic visualization necrostomy wash and drainage can be done but often it is difficult to create pneumoperitoneum in accurately ill patient actually but it is increasingly being popular a digitalnostomy is often done along with their, this procedure to have early enteral nutrition endoscopic necrostomy is often done in some of the early endoscopic interventions biliary stone remover and stenting in biliary pancreatitis is done and favored in many centers further management is important to prevent recurrence gall stone should be deal with laparoscopic cholecystectomy in two week after acute attack during uh, severe during uh, admission period endoscopic spectrectomy that is ercp and often stenting may be needed if there is a cbd stone complications very important uh, patient may die with the complications so we must keep in mind there are various complications of acute pancreatitis which should be deal one is the shock hypovolemic shock badly first then plus septicemic so patient has a hypovolemic as well as septicemic shock respiratory failure that is rds common in 7 days septicemia common after 7 days hypocalcemia also occurs disseminated intravascular coagulation acute renal failure pancreatic pseudoaneurysm pancreatic ascites colonic structure colonic pancreatitis chronic pancreatitis pseudocyst of pancreas splenic pain thrombosis and pancreatic capsis these are all complications of acute pancreatitis acute fluid collection it is the collection of fluid near the pancreas during an attack of acute pancreatitis with an ill defined or lacking fibrin wall of or granulation tissue it is 40% common and it is occur at peri pancreatic area occasionally intra pancreatic Uh, then 50% of acute fluid collection regress spontaneously the remaining only form pseudocyst pancreatic necrosis occurs cd guided aspiration at one puncture site is often necessary to confirm 
it is not form abscess acute cirrhosis it is the correction of fluid with pancreatic juice in near the pancreatic localized uh, pancreas localized by the fibrin wall of granulation tissue occurs in two weeks usually resolve spontaneously fluid can be removed percutaneously under guidance through an endoscope pancreatic cirrhosis it is a collection of fluid in fast cavity which is commonly contain brownish pancreatic enzymes rich fluid lined by granulation tissue but not true epithelium with the organized thick fibrous covering it is commonly located in peripancreatic region in laser sac it can be often intrapancreatic or in other place in peritoneal cavity or can be multiple it is usually form four week after the attack of pancreatitis a chronic entity this is usually style but can be get infected pseudocyst may be ruptured to form pancreatic ascites it may cause pancreatic pleural fistula when once it is eroded into left side pleural cavity or it may erode in splenic vessels causing life threatening splenic hemorrhage pancreatic necrosis it is the focal diffuse area of non visible pancreatic parenchyma with pancreatic fat necrosis it is initially sterile but eventually get infected it contain pest putty like material it may form pseudocyst abscess or may replaced by fibrous tissue during healing it can be sterile or infected necrosis it is confirmed by ct guided aspiration usually at one side collect fluid should be sent for culture and sensitivity pretty infection of necrotic area is usually occurs within 4 week it is usually conventionally treated by laparotomy debridement it is done by removing all necrotic tissue with adequate drainage by the remaining viable tissue pancreatic abscess it is the collection of pus in laser sac in relation to pancreatic surface which contain only pus it only loss or necrotic loss of necrotic pancreas it may be slough of pancreatic splenic vessels wall to cause horizontal hemorrhage abscess may be single or multiple 60% is commonly in head of pancreas body or tail but often entire gland may be involved uh, 25% 25% cases abscess may be rupture into viscera or extend into other part of tube in abdomen features of sepsis palpable mass in epigastrium with leukocytosis are observed it is treated by antibiotic or and percutaneous ultrasound sound or ct guided aspiration or drainage or upper drainage respiratory complications is they are very important patient may die with the respiratory complications so it is very important they are often severe and life threatening it is due to distension of abdomen diaphragmatic elevation pleural effusion reduce surfactant activity in alveoli due to lecithin severe pain pleural effusion on left side or on the both side intravascular coagulation in lung in ards arterial blood gas analysis should be done often it need ventricular ventilator support so often these type of patient required ventilator support pancreatic pseudoaneurysm that is due to enzymatic digestion of wall and weakening and aneurysm splenic uh, 50% gastrointestinal vessel 50% inferior and superior pancreatic duodenal arteries are 10% it may be rupture and cause life threatening hemorrhage or may rupture into stomach or duodenum to cause massive upper gi bleeding or may rupture into pancreatic tract causing hemo hemoscus pancreatitis it is diagnosed by ct angiogram it is treated by critical critical care by blood transfusion emergency angiographic embolization is the treatment of choice by open surgery and ligation of involved vessels it carries high mortality
pancreatic fistula it occurs due to ductal wall disruption in necrosis of or after surgical intervention for acute pancreatitis it may be internal into bowel or external to skin fistula may be low uh, less than 20 ml or high more than 200 ml output it can be is tight or curved it is confirmed by biochemical analysis rcp ct fistulogram if fistula is uh, resection pancreatic jejunostomy is done impasimetus pancreatitis it is the gas in pancreatic parenchyma a dangerous type and can be diagnosed by ct rensers prognostic criteria on admission if patient is old is more than 55 years blood sugar more than 200 mg percent total leukocyte count uh, more than 16000 per cubic millimeter of blood serum ld is more than 350 micro uh, gram per liter serum sgot more than 250 micro gram per liter in 48 hours base deficit more than 4 milli equivalent per liter serum calcium less than 8 milli equivalent per liter hematocrit altered by 10% rtlo2 p o2 less than 60 mm hg extra vascular space fluid loss more than 6 ml blood neutron blood uh, urea nitrogen altered more than 5 mg per cent of normal total score up to 5 better prognosis 5 to 7 equivocal was dangerous more than 7 is high be dangerous glasgow criteria age more than 55 years po2 less than 8 kpa uh, total count more than 15000 and uh, per mm millimeter per per ml cubic millimeter per ml serum calcium less than 2 millimol per, per liter blood urea more than 16 ml per liter blood glucose Uh, more than 10 millimol per liter, per liter sgpt more than 200 micro per liter ldh more than 60 600 micro per liter serum albumin less than 3.2 g per deciliter criteria to find out systemic failure in acute pancreatitis cardiac hypotension decrease uh, decreased blood pressure pulse more than 130 uh, per minute arrhythmia ecg changes these are the criteria for cardiac failure pulmonary po2 more than 60 mm hg ards renal urine output less than less than 40 ml per hour increased blood urea and serum creatinine metabolic phalim serum calcium mg uh, and albumin hematologically fall in hematocrit DIC gastrointestinal sequestration of fluid, neurological irritability and key confusion, and localizing features. These are all about acute pancreatitis. That's all for today. Thank you. जीवन अरे विपुल 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 बोला है ना अगर उसको सेव कर लो हो गया कितने देखो कितना क्या ब्रेस्ट का भी आज ही निकालते हैं यार कल का तो कोई भरोसा नहीं कल तो मेरे को वैसे भी कोड बना है तो उनका फोन आते रहेगा ये क्या वार्निंग है इसकी